they are part of this meeting. Um, hopefully, we get through with whatever the meeting is about and um, we get more um, access to a better um, process for the um, Jodella Bridge. It's, it's very important, not only for us, but for our entire family, our kids and everybody else, because in case of an emergency, we do need services. And we have not been told, letters have been sent, and we have not been answered, we have not been told anything. So hopefully, but, but there is some light in the tunnel. Um, our biggest concern is access of ambulance. Emergency response, we're not sure the ambulance will be able to pass the temporary floating bridge. We're not sure about that yet. If there's an accident, um, for the junction to go field, we need to go all the way around. That's one concern. Two, I know in the first meeting we had with MIDH there was a mention of a pedestrian ramp. My question would be, how would the works for the construction continue while there's a pedestrian? If there's any beam that falls or is there any, any pedestrian that gets hurt or response time could be affected. All depends on what side it is. Association of Tour Guides in Toledo uh, just wanted to echo the uh, concern that uh, my colleague Ms. Joe raised with regards to the launch area for tour guides, particularly their boats. Of course, that isn't um, unique to tour guides. It's also a number of fishes that uh, are in this area that launch. Uh, and so it would be good to uh, be able to get some indication as to how soon that would be uh, established and particularly um, ensure that it is established before uh, the bridge is um, removed. I noticed that the meeting was called by Oakville, Cat Landing and Forest Home. And this is an issue that will affect the entire Toledo district. And I need to say that I applied Oakville, Cat Landing and Forest Home for bringing, the, for bringing us together and even before this meeting tonight, I had already addressed this issue because it's an issue of national concern. If his numbers is right, $3 million that the citizens will have to pay to facilitate ourselves going around. And the Ministry of Infrastructure is having problem with maybe calling $80,000 to put a temporary bridge but a strong bridge that could withstand majority of the light traffic. Remember guys, when Freshwater Creek washed away, how long it took Ministry of Works to build a bridge to cross temporarily and strong enough for the free trucks to cross. When Kendall washed away, how long it took government to refix the old bridge that was at the bottom to facilitate the traffic between the south going north. So I think that the ministry can do something to facilitate the people of the Toledo in a significant way. I understand that they're going to put my like my ferry cross and then not a, not a thing I hear. So I'm not believing that. Right? So what we did, we said one, just like Mr. Saha, we have skeleton star. We don't want police don't want to come to Pinji. Right? So we are wrong what we have. Uh, yeah. We went out and we approached because there are a lot of people in the, in the storm where I do this. And then I want to actually do it. So I want to call it real because I, I say real. I don't have time for it. How are they going? So I get a man, a businessman, who is sacrificed to put up a, a boot. So you host two and I just wanted to say thank you to all the residents that came out last night to the meeting that we had at the Catalan Community Center. Um, by my estimates, it was roughly between 50 and 60 persons there between who was inside and outside that came to voice their concerns. Um, I also want to give a big shout out to the leaders from the Education Center, uh, Punta Gorda Police, Fire and Hospital representatives, um, the leaders there that came to present their plans. 
Um, I think the biggest takeaway from last night's meeting was the fact that I think um, many of our leaders understand that this is by no means a, a movement to stop progress or to stop the bridge. Everybody who was in attendance last night started off by stating that we all are thankful and we welcome the new bridge. It's just that we want to make sure that we're planning accordingly so that during the construction phase, no one is hurt or overly inconvenienced during this time. So we look forward to the future meeting that was um, announced last night that should happen with the engineers and the supervisors. And we look forward to making sure that this is as smooth a process as possible. And so we have our beautiful new bridge when this is all said and done. So again, thank you for everyone for participating. Hope to see you at the next meeting.